What's going on, guys? <clears throat> Welcome back to another episode with me, Chino Suave. Right now, I'm on the way to the gym, but before I hit the gym, I need to take this clear liquid and turn it into some colored liquid. God, this bitch behind me just started honking. It might be because the light was green, and five days out, five day and <clears throat> I take pre-workout. That's what I need to go get right now. So I'm gonna go hop into GNC, which is actually conveniently located in the same parking lot as my LA Fitness. Those are not sponsored advertisements, by the way. Gonna take it, probably gonna have to take a dump after. That's just how it goes. I don't have any toilet paper at my house, just gonna be honest with you right now. It ran out. Uh, fortunately, though, I had some really high quality napkins uh, last night. That's gross, Let's. we're gonna cut that out. Yeah, so I need to pick up toilet paper too, but we're at the gym, so we can just, you know, just let it go right there. Right then and there, just let it go. And here we go. All right, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. GNC is a little bit of a ripoff. If you're looking to get any protein and or supplements like pre-workout, nitric oxide, L-arginine, creatine monohydrate, protein isolate, mass gainer. Mass gainer. But that all being said, I'll see you when I get back from GNC. Two hours later. And we're back. All right, guys, so I spoke to the guy at GNC and I couldn't find the amino acid slash caffeine slash beta alanine pre-workout that I wanted, which is Amino Energy by Optum Nutrition, they said they took it off the shelves because it was giving people diarrhea. I went into NutriShop, right? Me and my girlfriend were looking for like a really good like nitric oxide booster to give us that pump and like open up our blood vessels, blah, 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 blah. Blood to the muscles, heels, shit, whatever. So we talked to the guy and I'm like, so, so what's in this? And he's like, oh, uh, you know, like caffeine free, it's got like citrulline and arginine and and when it breaks down you know like just get you that really good pump and i was like the fuck did you just say i had no idea what he was trying to explain to me but he definitely was not trying to tell me what was in this product okay this is the worst like okay so fuck they give you a little spoon for these things and they put it in there, right? And then they get shaken around and you're like, oh, where's, where's the fucking spoon? And you take your fingers and you go digging in that shit. Oh man, this one's deep. Oh. I found the scooper. I mean, I wasted a, a lot of it on my fingertips. Oh God. Oh, like a diet, like a diet Smarties. Scooping half for that really good pump. Lock it up. Shake. Ha ha ha. Oh, that's not bad at all. What flavor we got? Fruit punch. Tastes like fucking watermelon margarita. They, whoever's doing the taste testing on this company, fired. Ugh. Shouldn't have had that massive glass of protein before I came. Ooh, it's coming. The pre-poo. Whoa, bro. Oh, imagine the guy who's coming out of that thing. Sorry, guys, gotta go. That's my dad. Hopefully, nobody who's watching this, who lives in my town, owns this truck, because then I, I do apologize, but... New pre-workout, new me. Two hours later. And that's the workout, people. It's done. This, the workout, it's done. <laughs> so basically what happens at five o'clock is Everybody's like, hey man, did you go to the gym yet? No, no I didn't. Hey, we should go. Oh, okay. Let me go text uh, everybody else. Wait, the, the fuck you mean everybody else? 
What do you mean everybody else? This is like a A and B conversation. This was me asking you, one person, Tommy, to go to the gym with me, to spot me, and that way we can go, your turn, my turn, your turn, done in an hour, bada bing, bada boom kind of shit. Then everybody shows up to the gym, and little did they know, they told Brad, they told Brett, they told David, I don't even know who the fuck David is, but they told his ass, and you got six people sitting around a machine trying to cycle through that thing. Six hours later, you only worked one muscle. And I, no, no, let me take that. You only did one exercise. So please, guys, just to save you some time and trouble, pick a gym partner, go with that person. I do not permit more than three unless you're doing circuit training. Let's go, people, be smart. Work smart, not hard. Hello? I'm gonna go to the gym. And then you get those fools standing around like, yeah, yeah, get it. All right, Tommy, your turn. Oh, bro. Oh, I'm totally gonna get it right now. Oh, oh, I'm totally gonna fucking get it right now. All right, here I go. Woo, we just finished up our bread. Now you do, now you go. Oh, yeah, bro, I'm gonna go right now, right now. I'm gonna fucking go right now. And then you have this dilemma where you have three people on the same machine and I'm standing there like, do I dare ask how many sets you have left? God forbid we have to use the Pythagorean theorem to figure out how many more sets that all five of you have left. Now, if Brad did three sets and Tommy's last, how many sets does Tommy have left? Fuck that, guys. All right, guys. Do not forget to leave a comment in the comment section below as well as smash that like button if you want to see more videos just like this one. You know, there's a funny thing about Walmart, man. You see those post people of Walmart? I always thought that shit was fake. And I'll be honest with you. I didn't believe that shit was real until one day I just saw this lady who was wearing pants that were way too small for her own good. <sighs> Hashtag people of Walmart. Anyways, let's go get this toilet paper. Charmin. Charmin. Say everything with a Hispanic accent. Sounds better. Great value. Let me let me show you an example of some ass bleeding toilet paper. Let's see. Ultra strong. One free roll. Extra big. Hmm. Ultra soft. Usually that cheap ass shit. Let's see, four rolls. See right here. If your toilet paper looks like it's gonna last the apocalypse, thin, tight roll, don't get it. Your butthole will thank you. We're looking for something like, you see this bear? You gotta be like this bear. You gotta put that to your face and say, mmm, I love toilet paper. Oh, poor bear. Something that sells you. You got the Great Value Extra Soft 12 Rolls, Double Deep, only $6? Sounds good to me. Maybe we can find a better deal. I didn't even look. Hmm. Ooh. Ooh. Great Value Everyday 12 Pack. New Thicker. Septic Safe? Septic Safe. Too bad I don't have a septic tank. Look at that Charmin Doble. The fuck is the difference? We got everyday soft. We got ultra soft. For them bunnies and shit. I love bunnies. Fuck it. I'm about to go in. I'm about to go in. Not that I give a shit or anything, but imagine what people must think if they see a guy walking around 
with a 12 pack of toilet paper. Either A, they're like, oh, he's nice, he's picking up toilet paper for his family, or B, they're thinking, damn, that fool just went through a whole other pack of toilet paper because he had to take a shit. Ooh, I know that's what I'm thinking. It's weird how people feel about toilet paper. You see, me, I went into Walmart and all I got was toilet paper. You can only imagine what people are thinking carrying this package around and nothing else. That's embarrassing. Embarrassing. Well, you know what, people? You gotta know that taking a dump is part of life. Ain't nothing funny about that shit.